So the silver poplar can sometimes be confused with a maple tree because of the shape of the leaf, but it's actually in the cottonwood family. It's also a beautiful shade tree and can be a nice accent to your landscape if you have the room for a larger tree. Now the top of the leaf has a waxy coating while the bottom of the leaf is kind of fuzzy and that's what gives the tree kind of a white or silvery look to the leaves when they're fluttering in the wind. It is not native to Wyoming, it's actually native to the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal and down into Morocco, but has proven to be a successful tree in our area. If you can put up with the cotton, if it doesn't cause allergies for you, then you might want to consider it. Another thing to consider is it does put up a lot of suckers, as often cottonwood trees do, and so some areas do not allow it to be planted, so if you are considering planting it, be sure to check on local ordinances first. One other thing to consider is there is a product called Sucker Stopper that you can apply to the stems after you have cut the suckers off. There is a plant hormone that will help prevent further suckering of the tree. Now it's important to remember though this plant might start small with similar bark to an aspen tree, it can get very large and so you will want to consider that if you're interested in including this in your landscape. So if you have the right space and you're looking for a large shade tree, you might consider the silver poplar. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching from the ground up.